Another heat wave is here. This one expected to last at least a week, with highs ranging between 28 and 36 degrees. More Edmontonians are turning to air conditioning, but it comes at a cost. Nicole Weisberg has some tips from experts on how to make do without. The heat has settled in across much of Western Canada, and with overnight lows staying relatively warm, it can be difficult to keep your home cool. Portable air conditioners, or central air, are becoming increasingly popular, but not everyone can afford them. If you're going without, airflow is critical. Experts say wait until it's evening when it's cooler outside than it is inside, then try to create cross ventilation. Open the windows and put one fan facing inward on one side of your home and one facing outward on the other side of your home, creating a kind of vacuum to draw the air in. You might love to bake, but using your barbecue or something like an instant pot won't unnecessarily heat up your home like an oven does. For that same reason, wait until it's cooler to use large appliances like your dishwasher or your dryer. Also, when it heats up outside, close your windows, and keep your shades drawn. It's a combination of things and it'll really depend on someone's home. I get a lot of sun. If I left the blinds open uh, by, by the afternoon, it would be unlivable in here. If you have a ceiling fan, the direction it turns can also make a difference. In the summer, it should be counterclockwise to help create a downdraft, and in the winter, clockwise to bring up and circulate warm air. Although their impact may be relatively modest, having many plants can also cool your space through a process called transpiration. The most efficient strategy, however, is cooling people instead of spaces. Just sensible things about limiting how much physical activity you're doing during the peak heat during the day, uh, dressing in loose-fitting clothing, of course, uh, drinking lots of water, and also find ways to um, check in on each other. Nicole Weisberg, CTV News. Edmonton.